Hey, grown folks, Donna Smith, back at you on the weekend. We still talking grown here. We still having these discussions. I am sorry that I've been a little bit, you know, lagging with my videos. I try to hit you guys up on a regular basis, but it's been so busy for me. And tonight was the night to really just sit and have some conversation with you and let you know what was on my mind. And perhaps you will leave a message letting me know what's on your mind. So let's talk right now about, let's say you were with someone in a relationship. You know, I love my relationship topics, but you was in a relationship with someone and you both went to the mall. Now, this person that you're with seem to have sticky fingers, you know, they change price tags and they go in and they, they get them what they want. Sometimes they may drop a little something in their little bag or something. I mean, they they real good with it so far. <laughs> but they have sticky fingers. So this one particular time, you guys went to the mall. You're a couple. And they were uh, being watched in the store by someone. So they were, they were getting very nervous. And it was some things that they wanted. And they wanted to switch tags and they wanted to try to slip them in, the, in their little pocket bag or whatever. And they didn't want to do it because they were being watched. So they asked you, would you do it for them? Now, you love them and all. And you've seen them in action. You've even been with them when they've been in action. And you know how it goes, but you just don't, you really don't get down like that. That's not your, that's not your flavor. That's not your thing. So they kept pressuring and pressuring. You guys left the store and you walked and you got something to eat. And then you, you sat down and you talked about it. And they said, well, they will sit, you know, in the outside in the, in the walkway, you know, in the mall. And they wanted you to go back in the store and handle that for them. And they said, well, you know, if you love me, then you'll do it. Why would you even hesitate? Now, you're looking at them and you hurt because you're like, well, why would they even put me in that kind of situation based on how I feel about them and asking me to do something that, that's against my morals or my, my character? And so you explain that. And so they start getting very upset. And they say, well, if you really loved me, you would go in there because they knew you didn't have the money to get what they wanted. But they knew that you knew how to go in there and take what they wanted. So they put the pressure on you and they and they ended up giving you a, an ultimatum. You go in there and you get what I want or I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to deal with you because I'm finding out that you're not all in it to win it. That you're not my ride or die chick or dude or whatever. You just not in it. So you sat there for a minute and you had tears in your eyes and, and then you decided to just walk away and you went on in the store. And while you were in the store, you was thinking about the situation and, and you was feeling bad and weighty about it. And right at that moment, you was just stuck. You was just standing there not knowing what to do. Lost. And then you turned around and you said, I can't do this. So you turned around and you left and you went back out in the mall walkway there. And, and you told your, your your man or your woman, I, I look, I, I thought maybe I just could, but I, I can't do that. I'm just not that kind. I can't go in there and steal something or switch stuff around for you. So they say, well, you don't love me then. And that was a test. I was testing you. Just to see how far you would go with your love for me. So I'm out. Peace. And they actually leave you. And when you get home, all their stuff is actually gone. Because they left them all without you. And when you got home, their clothes and everything, they had moved out. What do you think about that? That scenario. What do you think about someone that say they love you dearly and they ask you to do something compromising of your character or your morals to prove your love for them? 
And then when you don't do it, they tell you it was a test and then they leave you. What do you think about that? What do you think about that character of that person? Now, this person was still trying to call and get them back because they loved them and they were still trying to reason and rhyme and talk and beg and plead. Psh, what? Hmm. Now, I'm not going to give my opinion, but I'm sure wanting to hear y'all's. I want to hear what you got to say about a situation like that. What would you do if someone put you in a compromising situation? And then let it be known they were testing you. And because you didn't pass the test, they left you. What would you do? Think about it. Let me know what you're thinking and share it with us. We all want to know.